sometimes, and it's very rare, you can spot a talent that you just know can make a significant impact. That's exactly the case with Connecticut's Vinicius de Jesus, who lost to Joaquin Buckley tonight at Bellator 185 at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, court. The judges scored it fairly even, or as even as it could get 2,928, 2,829, 2,928, but what was really impressive was De Jesus' 52 overall ability throughout the entire bout. Let's break it down, shall we? In the first round of the bout, De Jesus hit a beautiful takedown and almost stomped Buckley's 81 shoulder out of its socket, but the latter remained tough. He hung on and gave an impressive effort as well, even though he lost his mouth guard at some point. The second round seemed to be all Buckley, as he hit a massive kick to the head on Vinicius. An impressive takedown took the Brazilian down, but De Jesus would not break. He even let out a smile or two to mess with Buckley. Then, it was De Jesus' turn to shine. He locked in an impressive Kimura lock that should have spelled the end of the fight, but Buckley wouldn't budge either. The second round ended with both fighters looking impressive. Round 3 was where De Jesus lost Buckley, as the latter hit a loud power bomb to take De Jesus down to the mat. While the two sparred in the final minutes, it was obvious to the judges who would walk away the winner. All in all, it was a great fight that showcased two hungry fighters looking to prove themselves. Acclimating to the American lifestyle might have been difficult for De Jesus at first, and that's fair. However, it looks like he's starting to feel comfortable, especially in Bellator. Where he goes from here is unknown. As with all of Bellator's prospects, there does appear to be some gold at the end of the rainbow. With a few more fights under his belt, he could be a force to be reckoned with within Bellator.